Um, could you tell us about your career progression and how did your career evolve over time? Because you do wear so many hats and you do hold so many roles to many different people. So I'm going to tell you question, exactly right? what I tell students. All right. <laughs> I did not have, if you, if you look at my academic progress, I did not have it planned out. Like after graduation? After, well, I did not have it gra uh, planned out from the point I graduated to high school all the way through. I was okay. constantly earning, uh, learning. And then let's just say this, I was adapting to the environment around me mm. with the person that I am. And let me explain mm. that a little bit. So. When I had the bachelor's degree in pharmacy from State University of New York at Buffalo, we call it UB. I knew I didn't want to practice pharmacy that way. I also knew I wanted to mature, live life a little bit, grow sure. up. I went to Tennessee, graduated with the PharmD degree. I didn't start the PharmD degree knowing what I wanted to do a residency in or if I even wanted to do a residency. Were there any breaks in between? No, okay, no, gotcha. that was so straight, straight, straight up. Okay, gotcha. That was straight through. Part of it was also dealing with the other aspects of life. Along the way, I met my wife. Um, she's from Tennessee. And when I said to her, I said, I'm thinking about doing a fellowship up in New Jersey or Pennsylvania. That was a no-go. Mm. So it's a reality thing. My right. wife is also a pharmacist too, by the way. I was about to ask you yeah, that. We yeah. met in pharmacy school. <laughs> so part of it for me, what I want to drive at, drive to is, I wasn't blind to opportunities, but I didn't have a plan from say high school on, or even after getting a pharmacy degree on. A lot of it was also employing what I would say is a little bit of creativity gotcha. in what I, was, what I was doing. Because I didn't mention, but I, after I completed my fellowship, I went and worked for the University of Tennessee for approximately five years. First as a clinical instructor, then as an assistant professor. I worked in the Drug Information Center. That's where I was home working. Sweet home. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, so this place does feel like home. But along the way, just seeing what was going on in the area that I was interested in, that was how drug products are developed. I went back and got a master's in business. Mm -hmm. So I went to a private school in Memphis, Tennessee, Christian Brothers University. That's where I wrote a business plan. And it was just implying, you know, it's taking these thoughts I tell students all the time, you know, follow your dreams, but be realistic, be practical gotcha. and balance everything in your life. 